Let's see if he's home today. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And to all my subscribers, thank you for your love and support. And I do read your comments, so keep sending those comments. And I want to introduce you a brand new build that I'm excited about. I'm going to take you on this journey. And for this new build, what I've done is I've listened to help my son-in-law, Justin, who's my favorite son-in-law of your own son. And see, that's what makes you my favorite. So tell me, what we got here, Justin? What we got here today is a 2004 Honda Optitrax wow. F12X Turbo. Now, this thing is a new build we're going to have on the channel. We're going to get this thing cleaned up, hopefully looking great. What's yeah. our plan today? Well, first what we're going to do is take this cover off. And I just want you to know that I actually bought this off the original owner. Uh, so like Justin's point, 2004 and uh, one owner, that's, that's a pretty good deal. So um, I think it needs a lot of work. Uh, let's go ahead and uncover this. Right. Let's see where we're at. Oh man, yeah. Now, it did, uh, I know that it didn't start, but I do believe that uh, we're gonna, we'll check the compression and, and all that stuff. It's probably gonna be a fuel problem, but uh, you can see, man, it needs a lot of work. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is let's take these seats off too. All right. Set them to the side. And let's take a look at what we got, it. got in there. Oh yeah, man. So um, it's, a, it's a turbo, which is, you know, one of the better ones when Honda made them. Uh, without, who, who doesn't want a turbo, right? right. Uh, but one thing about this too, it also has a boost. If you can see the gauge here, yeah. it's got a boost. It's so. got a boost gauge off. Maybe we can get a better shot here. Yeah. With this blow off valve that the previous owners installed. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I there. bet this thing sounds awesome. Yeah. So what do you think that's going to do for us there? With the, with the boost is? Well, for one, it's going to sound really cool. Yeah, yeah. So what it does is when, as the engine builds pressure on the turbo, as soon as you let off the throttle, you get a nice high pitch tone that everybody wants on the turbo. So what we're gonna do next is go ahead and start with a deconstruction and get this thing cleaned up. So let's grab some more gear here. I mean, I think there's some wrenches over there. And you, what are you, what are you using over there? Should be a five mil. Five millimeter, and you, you got that on that side. I got this side. Okay. Is that wrong? I might be using the other one. If I sound a little hoarse, it's the Parkinson's. Uh, you know, I think I told you guys I have Parkinson's, but that's not going to stop me. You know, Parkinson's, type two diabetes, uh, neuropathy, uh, spinal arthritis. Other than that, I'm in perfect medical condition. So we're going to go ahead and take off these body panels. So we can have access to, to the engine compartment, or better access. I'm done. Well, you got the room with the T on it. Plus you're, you're 20 years younger than me. You got, you got it off? So I think in order to get that off, we gotta take this off next. So we'll get all this cleaned up, but you can see this is just really tore up with some oil in there. Let's, let's get the body panel off. And I see a shot on this real quick. Yeah, check that so out. This man. is what I was talking about. This is custom blow off out right here. See how this is kind of flared out like a horn? As soon as you let off, on the throttle, this will give a nice, loud <laughs> boost sound. Holy smoke! Yeah, that's, you that's, know that's awesome. So I can't wait to get this thing going. So I think you also have to take these screws off here. There's a body panel right here. Uh, off the off the plastic, there's a screw right here. You'll have to get that off as well. Let's see, this is so we're gonna need a new seal here. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, that's for the seat. Now this side, can you see how that slides out? Look at that, dude. No way. This thing is trashed. Dude, holy smokes. Yeah. We definitely got our work cut out for this thing. Needs yeah, we'll get a new, we'll get new, uh, new uh, seals for sure. Let's just trash these. Put the, put the body panels are still good. Even though the plastic is just dirty, it's just dirty. We can clean them. We're going to paint these anyways. Yeah, they're pretty nasty. We can put them dust in. There you go. Okay, so look at that action there. So next thing we're going to do is look at that. Man, there's oil everywhere. But this got a lot of potential. Check out that, that manifold. And uh, here's, the, here's the exhaust. We're going to put a new exhaust on this one. That'll look really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and take the trunk off. I think for washing, do you want, do you want to take this off too? Well, the shock doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, so it, it would help. Give yeah, let's just room. go ahead and take that off too. We're gonna clean it up. 
that think that's going to take 18 and a 10. And it's, it's under here. It's got go ahead and grab some uh, some sockets there. Um, probably top drawer there. Mix one up. We're probably going to use a 10. See some, it says metric. And let's go ahead and take the hood off. Look at, now, one thing about, about all Hondas, if you notice here, all Hondas had a recall for the gas tank. And the way to tell if, you, if this particular ski um, was already uh, swapped out in terms of the fuel tank, uh, is to see if there's, under here, if there's foam. And that'll tell you if it had the factory recall. And in this case, I, I can visually see that there's no foam underneath the tank. For whatever reason, that's an issue for, for the ski and Honda warranty the whole thing. So this is a total recall. So we'll get that swapped out. When we swap that out, we'll go ahead and add a new fuel pump because I believe that's the only issue we have. Uh, so I bought this ski totally um, um, from the original owner, knowing that it wasn't gonna run, but it already turned over and already got it started. So uh, this is gonna be really a really good deal for us. So, uh, and then when it's all said and done, you're gonna really see. I'm gonna take you guys on that journey. But that's just one indicator that we know that the fuel tank has not been swapped out by looking to see if there's foam underneath there. So all Hondas, um, again, will have a uh, replacement recall on, on the fuel tank. And the way to know and understand that if there's foam underneath the tank. And in this case, there's not, so we'll take it in and get that swap. Did you find the tools? Alright, right, what you got there? get this hood off. Yeah, we're gonna take it off right there. Here. We're gonna take the hood off now. Was it was a 10 millimeter? Yes. We might need to replace this too. I just don't want you can tell it's kind of got a little corrosion from the ocean water. Maybe we might try to put the sandblaster on it, see if we can get it cleaned up. That's a good idea. You need a 10 millimeter wrench or this one? No, all right, I'm, I've got the nut off of here. Okay. We'll need to tag it. You know, hood. There's two there. I'm gonna grab those. And then get the other one here. It's a little more trickier. Yeah. Go ahead and pull it. Go ahead and turn it. You get it? Yeah, the wrench. I got it. Go ahead. Now, do you have the hood? I got the. I got the hood. You got the hood. You can get into it. There it is. Whoa, dude! Look at that. That is just really dirty, man. Yeah, it makes a huge difference when you get things off. Yeah, look at that. that. It's just so oh, dirty. Man. Okay. All right. So I got a washer and a nut. We'll need to tag it up. But well, look at this. Look at that. And it's a it's a great ski with great potential. But man, we need to get this thing cleaned up. So what else do we need to remove? I think that should be it for now. Let's go ahead and put these tools up. And let's get this thing washed. So for cleaning this up, I'm going to use McGuire's. Uh, all McGuire's products are available online. I like using McGuire's because they got a really good system. So this is really specifically made for boats, so they say, but I believe it's some really good. So let's go ahead and get started, get this thing cleaned up. That sounds good. For the engine, uh, I really like to get this old gunk engine cleaner on there. Uh, this stuff I've used it hundreds of times. It works great. Might not be enough. We might have to step it up a little bit with our gel product, but this will really get some of this grease and grime out of here. Excellent.
Yeah, and you can get this at Walmart. It's, uh, it's kind of an eraser. It's a sponge, but they call it an eraser. But look how it works. And really, check this out. And that's a little heavier stain. But come down here, look over here. Right here. Hey, look at that, look how this works. It, it's a good, goodness, um, kind of like a sponge, but it just gets really down there. Perfect. Look at that, see how it comes off? See? Yeah, just keep rinsing on that. Yeah, there's a group right here, too. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're still going to have to wet sand and, you know, buff it, but... Right, this will get the surface stains off. Yeah, we just want to get stuff we can work around. Something we can work with. It's really nice ski. Great build. And we want you guys to come along for the ride. This is going to be epic. So, man, that came out pretty good smooth for them for the first yeah. pass. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. What are your thoughts? I'm excited. It, it really cleaned up nice. All the junk. We kind of push towards the back. Again, we're not messing with the tank yet. Yeah, again, you know, this is that. just a good once over to get us started, get it cleaned up so we can work on it. I'm really excited to get this thing started. Yeah, and so the next step is what's going to be is we're going to be removing all the graphics, all the, all the graphics on the classic, all the, all the lettering and badging on the, on the hall. And we think that we can use the Wizzy Wheel. The Wizzy Wheel is basically um, kind of like an official. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like an eraser uh, for the drill, but it's really hard rubber, uh, and, and it should take any graphics right off. Uh, and we'll be able to show you that on the next video. But I think that's it for today. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all the love and support. Please like and subscribe. And to all your subscribers, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate all that you do. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and, and bell notification. Give us a like for the favorite song wall. That's right. Uh, again, uh, thank you very much. Listen, don't let anything discourage you. I want, I want you to be encouraged and remember to always follow your dreams.